Welcome back everyone to another Conan Exiles tutorial video. So, so far in our tutorial videos, we've taken a look at iron, where to find it, and what's the easiest way to get it. And then also we've taken a look at thralls, uh, or what they call the slaves in this particular game, how to get them and how to train them to do your bidding. So here in our third tutorial video, we're going to be taking a look at steel. How do you get steel? How do you make steel? Okay, steel is a combination of iron and some other things. So we have to figure out how we're going to make it. But before we can do that, we're going to need an extra ingredient that we've not come across to this point so far in the game. We are going to need brimstone. Now, if you've not gone into any caves, you've probably not come across any brimstone with one exception. If you have found some of the rock nose uh, animals that are sort of in the desert, more desert areas, uh, as opposed to the more barren areas like this. So if you've been around the sandy areas, then you've probably seen a few rock nose uh, animals. They're sort of, they look like sort of a, a hybrid between the hyenas and the antelope that are running around and they're made of rock as the name would imply. So if you destroy them, uh, you can get some of the brimstone, but the easiest way is to get it in a cave. And by far the easiest cave that I have found to get it in is very close to the starter area on the map. So that's where we're looking right now. So right now we are facing, we're actually up the hill on our way up that direction is where the iron is. So we're not very far up the hill at all. We've just crossed over uh, the river and we're by the, the small lake just on the other side of the river. This is where we are on the map. So we're almost at the area where we need to be at. So if I turn off the map, Normally we would head up this direction to get the iron, but we're gonna take a detour off to the right and we're gonna to head to the cave over here. Now this is known as, I believe, Exile Cave uh, because of the inhabitants of the cave. So if we come over here, here they are. So you can see already they are less than thrilled with us. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of these guys and then we'll be right back. All right, so I made quick work of those guys. There were three guys right outside the mouth of the cave, and that's an easy way to know that you're in the right place because as soon as you walk up into the area, they're going to start pelting you with arrows. So once again, let's take a quick look on the map, and you can see this is where we are. Uh, again, the starter area is down here to the south of the map, and then simply make your way up as if you were going up to get the iron and make a detour to the right and you will be at the mouth of this cave. So you'll need to dispense of anywhere from two to four, I believe, uh, enemies whenever you get to the mouth of the cave. But then the good thing after that is that you walk right in to the mouth of the cave and here it is. Okay, you notice, unlike other caves, we're, we've not seen any enemies yet once we get inside the cave. And here it is, this is what brimstone looks like and this is what you're looking for the good thing is here we go there's one node then i walk a little bit further down there's two nodes walk a little bit farther down there's three and then you notice i'm starting to see the exiles down inside the cave and there's four nodes that i can get to very easily without having to fight any of the inhabitants Yet of this cave, all I had to do was simply, it looked like that guy down there was waving at me. I could have sworn he was doing that. But so I have access to about four nodes of this stuff before I even have to fight once I'm inside the cave. So now we're going to head our way back out the exit of the cave and we're out and we're safe and sound. And now I'm going to head back to my base, which is in the starter area, and we'll continue with the video. Now that we've made it back to base, we're going to need to craft a new item, which is the Firebowl Cauldron. So if we take a look at our crafting menu and we scroll down a little bit, we'll find the Firebowl Cauldron. And to make it, you're going to need 50 iron reinforcements and 25 twine. Now that 25 twine is no problem at all. The 50 iron reinforcements are made in the blacksmith's bench. And I believe each reinforcement takes two iron. So keep that in mind. You're going to need quite a bit of iron uh, in order to get to the cauldron. Once you've got the cauldron made, 
then we'll open up and you can see I've already got lots and lots of brimstone here. Uh, it's a pretty easy run for me to make here from the starting area over to the cave uh, and not a whole lot of fighting to do along the way. So I've gone ahead and made several rounds uh, up and back. So once we're inside, we're going to be fueling the cauldron with, uh, in this case, wood. And we're going to need two ingredients. We're going to need our brimstone and we're going to need some tar. Now, if you're not familiar with tar, you're going to get tar from the tannery as you're tanning hide and turning that into leather. A byproduct of that is the tar. Okay, once we've got our tar and our brimstone, we come into our cauldron and we're going to turn that on. And the ratio you're looking for here is you'll get two steel fire from one brimstone and two tar. Okay, so I only had uh, two tar in here, so we're already done. Remember, one brimstone and two tar will give you two steel fire. Okay, that's the item you're looking for out of the cauldron. Once we have our steel fire, we'll come over to our furnace, open that up, and in the furnace, we'll need iron bars and our steel fire. And I've got a little bit of wood in here. I'm going to turn this on. And the ratio we're looking for here is you're going to get one steel bar from one steel fire and five iron bars. So again, this entire process is going to take quite a bit of iron to get. So make sure you do quite a few iron runs up the hill. So as you can see, it's making quite a few of those and it's doing so fairly quickly. So that's how you're going to get to steel. It's going to take you a few steps to get there. And just to recap, you'll start off by needing to obtain brimstone either by killing the rock nose animals or by going into a cave and finding a yellowish substance that really sticks out. So it's easy to find. You're going to create a fire bowl cauldron inside the cauldron. You're going to put your brimstone and tar and use that to create steel fire which once you have the steel fire, you'll add that to the furnace along with some iron ingots and use that finally to create your steel bars, which you can then use. Um, as you can see in my toolbar here, I now have a steel pick, a steel pickaxe, and then I've also now have a steel battle axe. So some very nice uh, armor to be had, which I've not gotten into yet, but also tools and weapons to be had once you get into steel. So thank you very much for joining me. Hope you were uh, learning something. Hopefully it was informative for you and stay tuned for more Conan Exiles.